Hey y'all, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have the new Builder Gels from Madam Glam. They've had Builder Gels in the past, but I believe they've only been in a bottle, which I absolutely hate. I, I It's so hard to use it, especially when it starts getting low <laughs> and you're like trying to dig that last drop out of there. So I much prefer a pot. And these pots are a nice size. So these are a 15 gram pot and the picture, I thought they were gonna be so much smaller. Um, I am a luminary girl. That is what I use on pretty much all of my clients. These little tiny pots here, look at the difference. <laughs> um, but they do come in refill sizes, which is what I use to pour into my little pots. But anyways, um, that is the gel that I am used to using on my clients the consistency or viscosity of it is fairly thin so i'm really excited to check out these builder gels from madam glam we have three colors here we have a clear a milky white and a pink so you could definitely do a baby boomer with these very easily um, and i also grabbed a application brush so we're going to play with these and see what they're like this is a brand new brush so when you get your brush, it will be stiff. The Madam Glam application brush is amazing. I'm gonna show you how to prep this. Sorry, had to grab a paper towel. Um, I love their brushes. They have really nice brushes. The lids are absolute garbage. I hate the lids, they don't stay on. And when you try to jam them on, you end up messing up your bristles. So absolutely hate the lids, but love the brushes. So if we could just fix that one little issue we would be doing good. So when you get your brush, you want to gently work out the stiffness in it. It comes with a little bit of glue. So just wipe it back and forth. That's gonna break your bristles up. And then you want to clean it. I like to put just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol down. Make sure it's cleaned out. And then I will prep it with some base coat. So I just take some base down on a palette. Just a little bit and run my brush through. And that will get it ready. And then you just wipe it off on a dry lint-free wipe or paper towel. And then that goes back into your lid and it is ready to go. I'm gonna trim these little frayed bristles off the side here because if I don't, they will drive me mad. Okay, much better. Now we are ready to go. Okay, the first thing, let's check out the seal on these. Okay, we have a tab, thank goodness. Make it so much easier to open. Oh gosh, yeah, that opens really easy. And the pink is gorgeous. I love this pink color, it is stunning. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, these are builder gels, so you can build with them um, if you need to put a form on. The gel I use is not really made for sculpting out nails. It's more of a multi-flex gel, so it's for overlays. That is what I have on my nails. These are my natural nails, and I just keep an overlay on to keep them strong so they don't break. So let's check out the consistency of this. It's definitely nice sticky self levels but not super fast so i would say like a medium viscosity it's not bad at all i like it so this would be really easy to sculpt with to get like a nice form under your nail and sculpt out a tip um, and it's going to self level so you can let gravity do work for you all that jazz let's look at the milky white Very nice. Nice milky white. Clean off this brush here. Get an idea of how transparent it is. It's actually not as milky as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of opaque. <laughs> so yeah, not too bad. You can still see through it when it's thinner, but it's definitely gonna be a little bit more 
opaque, the thicker you have it. I do like the viscosity of this gel. It self levels very nicely, but it's still workable. Yep, I like that. Very nice. And we'll look at the clear. Now I've found in some gels that the clear is a bit thinner than the colors in viscosity. So let's take a look at that. It is a little bit thinner. It's not terrible though. If you're sculpting out a nail, my recommendation is always to do it with clear versus a color because your clear gel is gonna be stronger than any of your colored gels because it doesn't have that pigment in it. So your clear will always be your strongest. That doesn't mean you can't sculpt with the colors. Look at how crystal clear that is. I love that. So what shall we do with these guys? Shall we test them? I think so. I think I'm gonna prep my thumbnail and we'll just give these a whirl, why don't we? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remove like as much product as I possibly can with my e-file. I wanna get it thin to where it's like going on a natural nail just by itself for a couple of reasons. I wanna check its adhesion and see how it holds up. I wanna check the heat spike on it when it goes into the lamp to see how hot it is um, and give you guys as much information as I possibly can. So I really wanna get this video up for you guys fairly quickly. So I'll have to do maybe a second part two so you can check back in on the durability. Maybe um, on the durability and the uh, the adhesion. So maybe I'll mention it in an upcoming swatch video. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just gonna do this real quick, probably off camera because I can't see very well and I don't wanna hurt myself. So I'm just going to remove as much product as I possibly can and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I quickly did a soak off and I believe I've got a good 99% of the product gone. So we will get a nice good test of this gel. Now, you always wanna follow, follow your manufacturer's instructions. They don't say on the, the container here, um, any directions other than the product must be cured with an LED light, two minutes per coat. So, for most gel systems, you need a base coat, unless it says otherwise. With the luminary I use, that's a, a base and tint in one. Um, I believe this is not like that, so you're definitely going to want to do a base coat. So, you wanna stay within the same brand as much as possible. That's a whole nother thing I could get into, but we're not gonna get into all of that in this video. But I'm going to use the Madame Glam base coat. So I've prepped my nail, I've shortened, reshaped, did all the goodies. Now we're gonna go in with a base coat and fully cure that. I think we're gonna try, I haven't done this in a long time, you guys, but I think we're gonna try like a little baby boomer look here and see, see what I can get. Hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> okay, so base is on, going into the light for a full cure. Okay, now that my base is cured, I'm gonna go in and build this nail up. I'm gonna build a proper apex. We're gonna use all three colors. I'm gonna show you how to do a baby boomer. If you wanted to, you could just use one of these colors, preferably the clear, I would say, if you're just trying to build your structure. Um, but we're gonna do a little color situation, which it's nice that they have the three. So I don't want this to be too, too thick um, because we're going to build the main part of the structure with the clear and that's gonna encapsulate our color. Um, that way when we finish file, it won't mess up our ombre effect. So I'm gonna start with the milky white on the tip. I want it to be thicker at the tip of the nail and fade up to about the middle part of the nail. I haven't done this in a really long time. This might be a little tricky. <laughs> and then we're going to do the pink after. We're gonna cure each color separately before we go into the next. You guys, I haven't done this in so long. 
I usually do my baby boomers with a pigment powder, which is so fast and so easy for, you know, salon life. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you need to, turn it over, let gravity do the work for you, but this is not going to be our final shape. This is just getting our color down. So, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead into my light to cure. Um, I'm gonna let that cure fully. It said, what, two minutes? So I feel a little bit of a heat spike already. It's not terrible. It's tolerable, it's not too bad. Um, if any of you girlies out there, girls and guys have used Luminary on yourselves or your clients, you know it is spicy gel, very spicy. Um, I think the clear is what we're gonna really fill the spice on if it's gonna be too spicy. Um, product must be cured, LED light for two minutes. Does it say the same on the clear as the color? It does. Usually your color takes a bit longer to cure than your clear, but it says to do it for two minutes, so we're gonna do it for two minutes. Okay, white has been in for two minutes. It is cured. Yes, it feels good. All right, so now we're going to do the opposite and like drag the pink down over the white slightly. I'm not sure how I wanna do this. Maybe I'll start off with a really thin layer and just kind of drag it down over the white slightly. And then I'll take a bigger bead and build up just a little bit. And then I'm going to encapsulate with clear. That way I can finish file everything nice and smooth. So I'm just walking the pink bead down And then feathering out when we get to the white. It's not too bad of a boomer, is it? Doesn't that look pretty? Gonna finesse this gel a little bit. If you find it easier for you, which I usually do, use a small detail brush to help you guide your gel down after you get your main bead. It really helps get to those side walls. I'm gonna grab one really quick. Really quick, as quick as I can. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay, this is the ultra liner. And I'm just trying to stay in frame, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over because it's starting to run to the side a bit. I want it back in the center. Let gravity work for you. Okay. And I am just trying to manipulate the gel over. Whoops. The self level is very nice. I really like the consistency of this gel. It's so pretty. It's a very pretty pink. Okay, I'm just feathering that down a bit. I definitely like more pink than white. I like the white concentrated at the tip. I think that looks really pretty. Of course, our shape is not there yet. We are going to do that with the clear. All right, I'm gonna stop messing with it before it runs everywhere. And I'm gonna go ahead into the light. Okay, let that cure for two minutes and that's a little spicy, okay. So if it gets too hot, you definitely, <laughs> don't tough it out, don't be a hero, okay? Pull your hand out, hold it upside down until it stops burning and then go back in. Um, if you do have to pull it out, make sure you're getting a full cure on your nail. So if you're in and out a couple of times, within your two minutes of curing, definitely make sure you cure it again for at least another minute. Okay, I'm gonna let that go and I'll meet you right back for the clear. All right, so now we have our pink cured. I'm a little to the left, that's okay. And in between, 
colors I am cleaning my brush off clean my detail brush off as well okay now we're gonna go in with the clear we're gonna build our structure build our apex make sure everything looks good and then we will finish file so let me get in frame here I'm going to do a slip layer I feel like this is gonna be so hot the pink wasn't as hot as luminary but it was pretty spicy all right, and then I get my bead. The clear isn't too bad as far as um, being runny. It feels pretty similar to the colors. I like it. It's got good, um, good workability. I feel like this is about a medium skill level. Maybe not beginner, but it's. I think it's doable. The clear is definitely harder to see, so if you're new to working with gels, the color is definitely going to help you be able to see where you're putting it, for sure. So I'm taking my detail brush and I'm just pulling and manipulating the gel where I want it. And now I'm going to hold my finger upside down. This is so hard to film, but hopefully I'm just pulling the gel to the center to build the apex. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can or not, I'm so sorry. A little bit with the brush, I'm just gonna hold it there for a second, flip back over, I'm gonna check it from every angle and keep moving that gel until I got it exactly where I want it. It's not too bad. Of course, we've got a finished file. I did miss getting it down on the side here. It's unfortunate, <laughs> but that's okay. It's so hard to demo for the video, keep everything in frame and in focus and get it perfect. So it could have definitely been closer to the cuticle with the pink and down on the side walls a little bit more, but that's okay. I think it'll be good for the demo purposes. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go into the light. We're gonna see how spicy it is. I see an air bubble, I'm gonna take care of that, hopefully before I go in. And you wanna try not to wait too long and mess around too much because then your gel ends up going where you don't want it. So speed, accuracy, <laughs> all that helps, but the nice thing about gel is it's not going to get hard until you stick it in the light, so you can play with it as much as you need and if it all just goes crazy then just wipe it off and start over okay trying to keep my finger upright as much as possible my lamp's definitely not set up where it needs to be you know it's not hot I'm surprised I feel it getting a little warm it's still not it's not super hot it's definitely noticeable and I've got pretty sensitive fingers, you guys. So it is definitely noticeable on the heat, but that white or the clear is not near as hot as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna cure that for a full two minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, so it's all done. It is sticky. Almost all gel is sticky after it's cured. Um, unless it's a no wipe top coat, then it's going to not be sticky. So you wanna wipe off that sticky or inhibition layer before you file or it's gonna gum up your file and be a whole mess. So once it's wiped, it almost goes kind of matte. Now, if you wanted to and you had this on absolutely perfect, you could go ahead in with your top coat, but we're definitely going to need to do some filing. So I am gonna go in with my hand file here. And I kind of just want to get a feel for the gel, how easy it is to file. It's a nice, feels like a nice hard gel. All right, I'm gonna file this into shape off camera here, and then I'll come back to you when that's all done. We'll give it a top coat and see how it looks. Okay, so it's filed up pretty good. Uh, first time using it, not too bad. I do love the colors um, of the pink and the milky white. Very pretty. A baby boomer is totally doable. Um, I definitely didn't get it close enough to the cuticle or the sidewalls, but that's okay. <laughs> now I'm just going to put a top coat on. 
So definitely want to practice and improve on that, but it is very pretty. It files nicely. It feels good and strong. Look at that. Pretty good. Nice little baby boomer. All right, so you definitely could fix that and move it back. Oh, I need some cuticle oil. Um, and move uh, that pink back because it's definitely not back far enough. It looks like I need a fill already, but I have to fill all of these so I can fix it then. Just for the purposes of the video here, that's the demo. I mean, it's, it's fairly easy to use. I really like it a lot. I'm probably gonna wear this for a while and see how it holds up. I feel like it's gonna hold up really good. Madame Glam products have been great for me. Um, the clear didn't get near as hot as the clear that I usually use for encapsulating glitters. So, and it is so super crystal clear. So I'm definitely going to use the, the clear and encapsulate some glitters and stuff and see how that goes. I have this gorgeous chunky white glitter that everybody wants all the time and it's so super sparkly. And when you encapsulate it, it like magnifies it and it's like the most gorgeous thing ever. But the gel that I use to encapsulate that burns like the worst fire you have ever felt on your fingers. So this doesn't seem to get that hot. So I think I'm going to give it a try and see how that goes, but yeah. So I really like it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will do my very best to answer them. Leave those in the comments below. And yeah, what do you think about the Madame Glam Builder Gels? I definitely like using them out of a pot much better. I love the size of these. It's gonna last you a good while. This little trio here, perfect for baby boomers and anything in between. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.